Hey everybody, how you all doing? Welcome back. We are here looking at another ship today. It's the Drake Cutlass Steel. Yep. It's the last Cutlass that I have left to look at in the list of Cutlasses. Well, sort of. I'm sure I'll probably revisit them over time as the game evolves and updates and changes. You can see a few differences. One, it, this one actually looks unpainted. Like, completely unpainted. It looks like it's just bare metal. Uh, I think they did that because of the name, being all cute with it. That's kind of how they do the cutlasses. The red, the blue, the black, the steel. They're all painted those ways accordingly, starting out. Of course, you can repaint these. Uh, but the thing about the steel is, this thing houses a bunch of people. Now, as we can see, it has the general shape of a cutlass black. Except the side doors are slightly different from the black in that they have the gunners. Yes, this thing has a bunch of seats for gunners. And on top of all the normal weapons that the black would have. Not the exact weapons, but like the same mounts. Number and size mounts, I think. If I, can't, if I can remember correctly, we might look at that in the Oracle. <laughs> Anyhow, here's the other side. It's the other door, and they do have the little window there. Zoom in, and it does, you can look through it and see out it. Not very easily. In the back door here, just like all the other cutlasses, there should be a button over here on the side, I believe. Yeah, right here. That opens it up. Another feature you can see is we have a rear turret. That's a remote turret. Then climbing up in here, if you look on the right, it's a little hard to see, so let's go ahead and turn the light on. We have another mounted gun for when you got the door open. So if I wanted to, I could come up to it. And... I think I can grab it? <laughs> Can't remember what it is I have to do to grab that. <laughs> Maybe this ship has to be running. Close the door. Alright, we'll go ahead and get up here and start the ship up. It's got the usual front two seats. As well as it has this seat for the gunner. Your co-pilot will have access to the remote turret, I believe, in the back. Here, let's go ahead and double check that. Ah! I am in the co-pilot seat, right? <laughs> ah, yes. Enter remote turret. So yeah, we have access to the remote turret here. Which has a 180 degree uh, firing arc, well, visibility arc, where it can shoot. Alright, we'll go ahead and power that back down. And hop on out. And let's go ahead and get the ship powered up. So we can get the lights on. Because it's kind of annoying to look at, oh my god, it's a look through a ship with the lights all off. Alright, now the lights should all be on. And you'll get to see all the seats and everything. Much better lighting. Don't need this anymore. Well, kinda need it. <laughs> we still have the beds that the Cutlass Black have. We have the turret gunner, as I mentioned. We have the two seats up front for the pilot and the co-pilot. And the co-pilot has access to the remote turret. We go ahead and head back through this door again here. Open. Let's go ahead and open this door. Open and deploy. Wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. Oh, open that back up. <laughs> oh, game, you are working as intended today. Deploy. Any minute now, you know, whenever you want to. Without me falling out of the ship. What the? Why were we way in the air? Let me get back in here again. Can, can I op open? Open there. 
Let's get the other door open. Screw it. Let's open everything. Open. Deploy. Nothing happens. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and deploy this one even though it's not going to do anything. There we go. Love how they're all not deploying. But anyhow, you can see all the seats in here and it's kind of good to have the doors open anyway so we can see in. It can house uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18. 18 waiting and ready dropping people to drop right on into a hot zone with all their guns ready to go blazing. We yeah, that was a lot of words. And unfortunately, I was never really a big fan of this ship. Partly, mainly because I'm not really a fan of drop ships. It's just I don't really have much use for them myself. Uh, but I'm going to try to get some friends together and at least try to fill some of these seats. I don't think I can get all of these seats full. <laughs> but anyhow, before we get into all that, let's go ahead and check out the Urkel. After your Urkel, we'll go ahead take it for a little spin, take a look at it while it's in flight, and, and then we'll take it for, uh, hopefully, for a raid on our horizon. Anyhow, here's that Urkel. Alright, here we are. We got the Cutlass Steel. Taking a look at its little spreadsheet here. It's starting loadout. For the weapons, on all the all the hard points are size 3. Starting out, you got them all populated with size 3 very pucks, which means that they have size 2 weapons on them. Got two Scorpion GT215s with Ballistic Gatlings, and two Badgers Laser Repeaters. Those won't run out of ammo, by the way. The first two will. My suggestion, switch them. Unless you're playing PvP, then you kind of want to use the DPS. Moving on. Man turret, we got a size 5 with size 3 uh, panthers attached to it. That's the man turret that's in the center of the ship that your uh, third member should be sitting in. Because your co-pilot shouldn't be leaving his seat to go do that because he has his own turret in the rear. It's a remote turret with two badgers attached to it. So you got more badgers. Six badgers total. Badger, badger, badger. On the missile racks, we have eight arrestor 3 cross-section missiles. And we have eight Tempest 2 cross-section missiles. Comes with one of, one of my personal favorite quantum drives, the Crossfield, size 2, military grade C. Goes pretty darn fast. In its class, it's only second really to the XL1, uh, which the XL1 is faster but slightly less efficient on gas, so make your barely trade-off between those two. Honestly, it is really barely a trade-off. Your shield is a uh, size 2 full stop military grade C with 9,000 hit points. You can upgrade that to uh, the military grade A for a little more hit points on there. I think it's like a JL or something. I can't remember what it's called. What is it called? FR76. <laughs> I call it a JL like it's a speaker. Power plant. Size 2 turbo drive. Shouldn't need to worry about upgrading this thing. It's got plenty of power left over after what's being used in it. We're only using 3,592 power. It puts out 9,375, so we're fine. And, of course, those. Cutlass Steel Dropship Combat Size 3. Crew Size of 3. Has a body hit points of 8,600 and nose of 6,000. And a total of 32,120 hit points. Well, that explains why it takes forever to take down a Cutlass. Then we got a bunch of other numbers that I don't really care about. Other people seem to care more about, but I don't really. You can purchase this in-game in New Deal at Lorville for 1,355,300 AUEC. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take off. Close all the doors back up. Let's just make sure we're hitting the right button there. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that closed all the doors, I believe. Yeah, everything's all shut back up. There we go. Open sesame. That means you. That's, there we go. I didn't realize that was a safe zone. This is Lorville. It's pretty oppressive as the place goes. Alright, so let's get the landing gear up. And we'll go ahead and switch cameras. Oh, I like how it pretty much starred me in not in VTOL. I didn't do that. But we can still 
Does it do it automatically? I'm confused. Uh-uh. Nope, that's bad. <laughs> and I know it's not this button. I know what this button does. What does this button do? Nothing. This button? Nothing. And I don't think it's the landing gear because it was already sideways when... Yeah. I don't know what happened. It used to be able to... Uh, well, it used to be tied to the landing gear. The side... Or the thrusters there. But anyhow, this is what it looks like flying. If you look up just beyond the turret there, you can see the missile bays kind of hiding in those little slots in the back. It's kind of a neat little spot to keep those. And of course, we got the guns underneath the wing here, and we got guns on the ship also. On top. Those are all slaved to the uh, pilot. One of these days, these little things on the sides, I think they're supposed to do something. <laughs> and the thing underneath, too. That's eventually supposed to do something, too. There you have it. That's the ship. Now, let's see if we can't get our friends together. 